Hello YouTube, Romo Dragon 87 here and today I'm going to be showing you how to take a Minecraft Classic uh, Windows 10 Bedrock Edition and turn it into a <coughs> really textured and HD looking. Um, so I'm going to be showing you on the iPad what the Classic version looks like. I mean I'm pretty sure everybody knows what it looks like but just want to have the two compared next to each other so I'm not going to be doing this tutorial on the iPad I'm just using it as an example that's it okay so there you go the reason why even that is like that because I have it changed on here as a custom skin. Well, I'll get into that in a little bit. Okay. And so, let's just load this up, actually. Okay, so we're going to take this and turn it into this. Looks the same so far. Then we got that. So we're going to go from that to this. And uh, how we're going to do it. First, let's load up a level. I don't have anything, I guess, on this one. I don't really play so much on um, console or iPad or whatever so much. I mainly like to play on PC. So here it goes loading up on the iPad. Just to show the classic skin. I'll load one up on there too. That one loads up a lot quicker. I usually play, and if I do play on the iPad, I use a controller. So, usually. But anyway, here we got the classic look. And here we got how it looks after we're going to get done. I mean, you could put these texture packs basically in which order you want. So the way it works is um, basically whatever order you put them in, it ends up getting different results. So I change them all the time. Um, I'll show you the order I have them in. And then I'll also show you how to um, go ahead and load them up after. So let's get out of this. We got that classic look out of the way. Just don't get me wrong, I love the classic look. But I've been having fun with these. So you go over here. Where's it? Ah global resources and they're gonna end up being in here so but here's the ones I have just go through them slowly and I will be including these in the description I'll have them in a zip and uh, I'll have some of my own worlds too like that one you just saw there's another one called 2020 there's one called um, swordfish there's one called Taki's world there's one called story anus I think there's one called story up but anyway so what's gonna happen for me is I <clears throat> I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, basically how to how to put these in I thought it was gonna be a lot harder but it's really not it's actually super super easy so I just keep them on a hard drive just in case and maybe one day I'll do a video on Java version which a lot of people know how to use anyway um, right here keep it in here and then these MC packs I'll upload all these I take no credit for any of these I didn't make any of these myself I just 
found them um, online. Um, so I'll be including all these. And then also I'll be including these worlds. Some I made and then the other ones I take no credit for because I didn't make them. And some I just found online. And the way I realized um, you type them in and here's some skins. So I'll just include some of these skins I found online. And so the way you do it is uh, basically so for skins you type in say you want like Batman skin or like a Batman Beyond you type in Batman Beyond dot P N G so or like the other one I have Jazz Jackrabbit Jazz Jackrabbit dot P N G and then for the McWorlds you type in like whatever say Grand Theft Auto dot M C world and then if you guys want to like look up the McPacks as well just type in like H D M C pack if you want to go search them up yourself <clears throat> but I will be including what I have here um, the skins here and then this whole but I will put them in a zip so it could be easy just to unzip and uh, we won't even have a password or any of that so that's what I'm gonna do with these um, and then basically it's uh, you so I'll go in here again oh, oh what am I doing I was supposed to be showing you how to actually do it I don't know what I was getting into supposed to be getting into how to do them so basically for me it's gonna fail because I have a lot of these done but basically what you do oops basically what you do see any of these packs you go to them and you double click them and what it's gonna do it's gonna load it up and I'm not sure if I have this pack or not but if I do it's gonna fail for me so and then basically what's gonna happen once you get that pack you go in here back to whoops what am I doing global resources and then bam they're all in here and you could get different shaders you could put mods and you can do all that and then you get different results with it kind of like the Java version so I just thought that you know um, that'd be something helpful because some I did not even know about this until like uh, a couple weeks ago and I'm I'm kind of new to Minecraft it's too bad I haven't been playing it for years but and then same with these you just double click them the McWorlds or Mick add-ons same thing there's a bunch of different just make sure to put MC and then what you're gonna put after McPack McWorld McAddon and so on and so forth and you could google search more if you need more texture packs i just threw some in here just to get everybody started all right thanks for watching if you like what you see here leave a thumbs up if not hey it's all good um and yeah sorry i haven't been making videos lately i've been busy and uh all right catch you in the next one Thumbs up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. Have a good one.